The Guggenheim Museum Bilbao. The spectacular architecture draws large numbers of visitors, making it crucial to the local economy in Spain's Basque country. We came all the way over here from Vancouver, Canada, just to see the museum. I love the temporary exhibitions. They breathe life into the museum. For me, the museum is beautiful, aspirational and inspiring. It's got curvy shapes, straight and flat elements too. It's very interesting. The museum also showcases artworks outdoors. Jeff Kuhn's puppy is a particular favorite. And many are fascinated by Louise Bourgeois's huge spider sculpture, Mama. Inside the museum, more cutting edge 20th and 21st century artworks await the visitors. The 11,000 square meters of exhibition space draw in the crowds with temporary exhibitions of high profile names like textile artist Ani Albas or video artist Bill Viola. Richard Serra's remarkable walk-in steel sculptures are part of the museum's own permanent collection. But visitors don't come only for the art. There's also exquisite Basque food. The Guggenheim in Bilbao is the first Guggenheim to offer Michelin star cuisine. The museum, run by Bilbao native Juan Ignacio Vidarte, is a success story. Maybe that's because the museum lets visitors establish a kind of relationship to the artworks. That isn't possible in any other museum in the world. The architecture plays an important role. It's allowed us to showcase modern art in a unique way. The awe-inspiring building marked a pinnacle in the career of U.S.-Canadian architect Frank Gehry. After four years of construction work, it was inaugurated in 1997 as a spin-off of New York's Guggenheim Museum. It was a risky undertaking in the 1990s, when Bilbao was grappling with a decline in its local coal and steel industries. Not exactly fertile ground for an art museum. This was an old city with an economy traditionally geared to steel and shipbuilding. But those industries were in decline and unemployment was rampant. Socially, environmentally and economically, the city lay in ruins. Today, Bilbao is considered a prime example of a city rejuvenated by investment in architecture and infrastructure. It's prospered from tourism, a phenomenon that's been dubbed the Bilbao effect. And more cultural institutions are coming, like the Ascuna Zentroa venue, renovated by French designer Philippe Stark. We use the term Bilbao effect to describe the process of reform and transformation of the city. The environmental, social, economic and cultural dimensions of this process. The Bilbao effect has admirers who want to copy it all over the world. Locals say the Guggenheim Bilbao put their city on the world map. With 1.2 million visitors last year, the museum surpassed numbers for New York's original Guggenheim. That's generated thousands of jobs in Bilbao. But to stay successful, the museum has to remain creative. I think that digitalization helps us connect with the public. That way people can access our collections virtually and prepare their visits before coming. The museum needs to continue pursuing this path. To celebrate the museum's 20th anniversary in October, light artists projected images from Bilbao's industrial age onto the building's exterior. The past meets a glowing future at the Guggenheim Bilbao.